Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to treat one of the questions which I took it from question paper that has been written on the previous examination. So this question paper, guys, is paper two. So the question that we are going to do today is calculation under manufacturing topic. Okay, let's check the question together and go through it. Then we're gonna simply answer all those questions. Okay, the information that we've been given, we've been given they said Sinclair Sengwani own a separate factories that manufacture product according to orders received. There is no work in progress store. Okay, and they said the year is ending 28 February. 1.1 indicate whether the following statements are true or false and write only true or false next to the question. Okay, let's just go through this quick, then we're gonna go through our main question. Okay, number one, they said wages of factory cleaners is a direct labor cost. We want to know whether it's true or false. What do you think before I answer? A wages of factory cleaners is direct labor cost. Of course, it's false. Okay, a direct labor are directly involved into a production, they don't do a cleaning okay a cleaning is a factory overhead 1.1.2 delivery cost of finished goods to retailers are selling and distribution cost it's true it's true but you also have to be careful when you answer this kind of question because they can say that a delivery cost of raw material are a selling and distribution which is going to be false Okay, so the, this delivery cost is like to deliver to customer, so they are selling. Okay, 1.1.3 depreciation of office equipment is administration cost. It's true, anything that is related to office is administration cost. Okay, so this business, guys, uh, is manufacturing a desk as well as chairs. Okay. So we have a questions that we have to answer under a desk and we also have to a question that we have to answer based on the information of chess. Okay, let's go through the question first. Number 1.2.1 under desk factory. They said complete a factory overhead cost note. Okay, then the following question calculate the total cost of production of finished goods. 1.2.3 since they want to produce additional 1500 best while maintaining the selling price and cost okay and calculate additional profit you can expect so that's the third question that we have to answer under a desk factory okay then we're gonna go to chair after we completed everything here yeah. all right so the first step of course we have to lay down the format of factory overhead cost so it's a note, guys. They didn't say prepare a what we call a ledger account. So we are going to draw a note like this. Okay. And you said a factory. Factory overhead. Cost. Note. Okay, so this is how it will look like. All right, now let's go to information that we have. Number A, information number A. Number A, they say a desk factory, then they give us extract from pre adjustment amount and they give us adjustment amount. Okay. Information number B is for both factory of desk and chairs, but let's read information number A first. Okay. Number one, they give us indirect labor. Okay. If you, if you, uh, you can check uh, adjustment number one before, guys, before you start writing the answers here, you must check if there's any effect of additional information because you might write the final answer and you must uh, you find that in that situation you're supposed to open a bracket 
and write some calculation. All right. If, if you check, bullet number one is water and electricity, number two is rent, number three is insurance, which means that we don't have any effect of indirect labor. Okay. Then, which means that in this case, we are going to write indirect labor as it is because there's no any effect. Indirect labor amount will be 296,500. Okay, then the following one they say it's decreasing of factory plant. Okay. Which is amount of one six six thousand. We didn't see any adjustment related to this one, which means that even depreciation, we just gonna write the answer as it is. What depreciation on factory plant is falling under factory overhead? Very simple because they even mentioned that it's for factory. Remember, under factory overhead, we put everything that is indirect. Cost as long as it's related to a factory, okay. One six six thousand. Okay, then we have advertising. Do we advertise under a factory where we produce? No, we don't advertise there. We advertise on department of selling and distribution, which means that it's not going to fall here. Okay, then water and the electricity. We have to open a bracket because we have additional information number one. Water and electricity. Okay, we open a bracket and we have amount of 24,500. But this 24,500, we have to read additional information number one. They say water and electricity for February 2019 is 18,000 and must be taken into account. 80% is allocated to factory, then the balance is for admin. Okay, which means that in this case, we must first add 18,000. Why are we adding? Because it's for February. February is still within our reporting period. We have to make sure that we add a 12 months before we do it. We do allocation, okay? Then after that, we're going to multiply this answer by 80% because they said only 80% fall under a factory okay then if you do this calculation uh, you are going to get amount of 212,800 simple as that okay now we have to move to a rent a rent expense is amount of 345,600 but we have to read information guys because some rent can be paid for office which doesn't fall under a factory okay they say rent must be allocated according to flow area a factory is 810 square meter office is 180 square meter a sales department is 90 meter square okay or square meter Okay, then rent expense. We have to open a bracket and say three forty five six hundred. Matla by on top we put what we are looking for. We are looking for what? For rent for five three, which is eight hundred and ten. Okay, and on the bottom, we put total of everything. If you add 810 plus a 180 and 90, it's going to give you a square meter total of 1,080. Okay, then after that, you see 345,600 multiplied by 810 divided by 1080 and it's gonna give you amount of 259,200 simple as that okay now we have to move to the next one the next one 
they said that insurance allocated to sales department is 12,600. They said this amount of 12,600 is allocated to sales department. Okay, and when we read the information number three, they say 75% of insurance must be allocated to factory and the balance applied to sales department, which means that the one that we have, guys, the one that we have is not 100% amount because it's for sales department. Sales department, remember, they say that it's only 25%. So this is how we are going to calculate this one. We are going to say insurance amount of 12,600. We are not going to say my blood by 75 over 100. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be wrong because this amount is not over 100, but it's over 25. We are looking for 75 of factory out of amount of 25%, which is sales department. Okay, then it's going to give us a calculation. Uh, 12,600 multiplied by 25 over 25, and it's going to give us. Amount of thirty-seven thousand eight hundred. Simple as that. Okay. Then the last one. It was a factory. A sundry expense, which doesn't have any transaction. Okay. Sundry expense, guys. And we're just gonna write it as it is. And the amount is twelve thousand. 600 okay then after that we don't have any further transaction we have to calculate everything you add everything from top until the last one and you will get the amount of 1 million and 18,000 okay so this is how we prepare a victory overhead under this part Okay, so we're going to proceed to number two. So guys, if you are learning something on this channel, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, that you visit my channel. But if you haven't subscribed, guys, please, please, please make sure that you subscribe. It's going to assist someone who need a similar help like you. In YouTube, they're going to recommend it to more people if you subscribe, if you like uh, this video, so that at least uh, other people who are struggling with accounting, they will be able to find uh, this video. Thank you so much, guys. So let's just proceed to number two. Number two, they want us to calculate a total cost of production of finished goods. Okay, so we have to base on the information that we have. So based on the information that we have, uh, we have... Uh, information number B okay they say that remember the one that we are calculating is for desk factory only okay then to calculate uh, this amount uh, is very simple we have to add all variable and fixed that fall under a factory okay which means that when you see any selling and distribution and admin please do not include them okay now this is how we are going to do if you check direct labor amount we don't have it but direct material we have it and factory overhead is the one that we calculated now we're gonna suffer to get a direct labor amount but guys because we have a total units produced and sold on the information number B of 9,000 is going to be simple now for us. Okay. 1.2 Because we have a total unit produced of 9,000 guys, we're just going to say 9,000 of units produced and multiply by all those variable and fixed that fall under a factory okay if you check total variable cost 
we have it uh, which is five eight okay okay apologies guys it can be 580 remember we have a selling and distribution which we are not going to include which means that it's going to be 500 because we only have to add a direct material and direct labor we don't include selling and distribution okay which means that it's going to be 500 340 per unit and 160 per unit okay now we don't know a factory overhead how are we going to find a factory overhead think about it very simple very simple this is how we are going to do it remember we already calculated a factory overhead which means that in order for us to get per unit that we have to add it here we have to say a 1 million and eight two thousand divided by nine thousand is gonna give us 120 per unit for factory overhead then is the one that you are going to add here okay which means that in this case you are going to get six trade okay I repeat again guys in order for you to get a total cost of production they said of production which means that what they mention of production do not include administration and selling and distribution only multiply by total units produced by direct labor we know that they produce direct material they fall under factory factory overhead they also fall under factory that's the three things that we have to add selling and distribution and office do not include them okay if you multiply by if you multiply nine thousand by six twenty, you are going to get total cost of production of five million five hundred and eight thousand. That's it, and you will get a full max for this, a full max. Okay. Then the following question they said since here want to produce an additional 1500 desk calculate additional profit you can expect the first step that you have to do guys for this one okay this was question 2 21 2.3 would be this one okay once they ask you a question like this where you have to calculate additional profit it's gonna be very simple for you you said 1500 or you say the formula said additional okay let me write the formula here additional profit and you multiply by contribution per unit now the question is what is contribution per unit you know the formula to calculate a fixed and uh, what do we call it I think we're gonna get it on the following question let me check again a break even point where you have to set a fixed cost divided by contribution per unit contribution per unit is the same as selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit is the same guys is the same so additional profit we know it is 1500 and now we have to multiply by contribution per unit which means that to calculate contribution per unit guys we have to check our selling price our selling price if you check for desk it was 750 750 minus variable cost per unit is how much our variable cost is 580 580 and we're gonna get how much here and let me calculate here and see how much i'm going to get
Okay, we're gonna get 170. 170. So it, in this case, guys, we are not calculating the number of units produced, which means that our variable must also include what? Selling and distribution. Okay, then now because we get our 170, we can now calculate our profit, which is going to give us 255. Thousand. Okay, that's the answer for 223. That's the additional uh, profit. If you produce another 1,000, I can let desk. All right.